In this video, we will learn technique of integration for algebraic expression that is known as the chain rule. For example, if I want to integrate x plus 1 whole square dx, I should first expand the bracket which is x square plus 2x plus 1 dx and then comfortably integrate each term. What do we get? We get x 2 plus 1 divided by 2 plus 1. This 2 is a constant. The power of x is increased by 1. It was already 1. It has now increased to 2. Divide by the new power plus this 1 is becoming x plus a constant of integration c. Go through every single step. First, the bracket is opened up a plus b whole square that is a square plus 2ab plus b square. Integrate each term individually. Overall constant of integration c. Simplify each term. We have x cube over 3. This is 2x square over 2 plus x plus c which becomes x cube over 3 plus x square plus x plus c. This is the expression that we obtain. What if there is another rule that will do the working a bit faster? So if we want to integrate ax plus b raised to power of n dx, this is known as chain rule. There is a linear expression inside the bracket. Keep in mind, this rule, the chain rule, is only valid for linear expression. So that is the first limitation. Only valid for a linear expression. And the second thing is, as usual, it is valid for all the powers except n should not equal to negative 1. Let me do the expansion. Increase the power by 1 divide by the new power and don't forget to divide by coefficient of x or the derivative of the bracket. Whenever it will be a linear expression, remember for linear expression ax plus b, coefficient of x is a and if we talk about derivative of this bracket, so the derivative of this bracket is also a. So it's a hard and fast rule for linear expression that the coefficient of x and the derivative of the bracket is exactly the same because the derivative of a constant is 0. Let's apply this rule in different examples. Let's integrate x plus 1 raised to power of 3 dx. First, check is this a linear expression the answer is yes second check is that is this power okay for usage of chain rule the answer is yes because the power could be anything except negative one first increase the power by one divide by the new power don't forget to divide also by the coefficient of x which is coincidentally the same as the derivative of the bracket and don't forget to write a plus c the constant of integration. So x plus 1 raised to power of 4 divided by 4 plus c that is the value of this integral. That is the expression that we obtain. Another example something like x square plus 1 the whole thing square dx. Is this expression linear? The answer is no, this is not a linear expression. So therefore, chain rule is not applicable. So how can we integrate it now? The only option is first expand and then integrate. So if we expand this, what do we get? This is a plus b whole square that is a square plus 2ab plus b square. 
So therefore, this is a square plus 2 into x square into 1 plus 1 square. We are not yet integrating it. We are simply expanding it. This is x power 4. This is 2x square plus 1 dx. Now we will integrate each term individually because this is not a chain rule question. So this is x, 4 plus 1 divided by 4 plus 1, 2 as it is. The power of x is increased by 1, divide by the new power, and this constant 1 becomes x plus an overall constant of integration c. This becomes x power 5 over 5, 2x cube over 3 plus x plus c. This is the expression that we obtain. Something like integral of a uh, 2x plus 5 raised to power of 1 third. This is 2x plus 5, 1 third plus 1 divided by 1 third plus 1. Don't forget to divide by coefficient of x which is 2 plus a constant of integration c. So this is 2x plus 5. We will work in indices. The power becomes 4 third. 1 third plus 1 is 1 third plus 3 third that is 4 third. Division by 1 third plus 1 is 4 third multiplication by 2. So now we have 2x plus 5 raised to power of 4 over 3 in the numerator, 8 over 3 in the denominator. This 8 over 3 will flip and it will become 3 over 8, 2x plus 5 raised to power of 4 over 3. Don't forget to write the constant of integration c. This is the expression that we obtain. Something like integral of 2 over 3x plus 4, the whole thing square dx. The numerator becomes 4. The denominator is 3x plus 4 raised to power of 2 dx. And now a word of caution. Do not open up the bracket in denominator because the rules of integration are for the numerator, therefore take it up. So this becomes 4, 3x plus 4 raised to power of negative 2 dx. We can put this 4 on the outside. So we have 4 integral 3x plus 4 raised to power of negative 2 dx. Again, check. This is a linear expression. That is the first thing. Second, the power is anything but negative 1. Because negative 1, the function will be undefined. Now start the integration process. 3x plus 4 raised to power of negative 2 plus 1 divided by negative 2 plus 1. Don't forget to divide by coefficient of x which is 3 and the rest is just simplification. Don't forget to write the constant of integration c. What do we have? We have a 4 minus 2 plus 1 is negative 1. Negative 1 into 3 is 3 with a negative sign and then using negative 2 plus 1 this is 3x plus 4 raised to power of negative 1 and then eventually it will become 4 over 3 with a negative sign 1 over 3x plus 4 plus a constant of integration c. So these were few examples of the application of chain rule. So in this video what we have learned is that whenever we integrate a bracket which has a linear expression on the inside and a power on the outside and the power could be anything except minus 1 it can be integrated using this rule, increase the power by 1, divide by the new power, don't forget to divide by coefficient of x or derivative of the bracket and plus c where c is the constant of integration. Hey there, if you like what you saw right now, head over to altacademy.org for access to content around six subjects with past papers, videos, revision guides, flashcards and academic support. All of this is going to make sure that you're completely set for your A-levels. So I'll see you there on the platform.